everyone, this is just another one of those really quick recorded intros that happened after I had to edit the entire the entire episode. I know it seems short, but this was the last of the really bad um, audio desyncing problems we have. Uh, episode's only like 20 minutes long, but the first half I had the desyncing problem still, and I fixed it as best I could. It's not going to be perfect, but if you can bear with it for about 10 minutes... You know, there's some really good scenes that happen that I was really upset about. But the important thing is that I got the most important one at the end with Vetra re-recorded, which was only like, you know, 11 minutes. Like, just whatever, the last 11 minutes I re-recorded so that there's no desyncing, no weird graphical glitching or anything like that. Um, but yeah, just wanted to let you know that that is hopefully done now. I think I fixed the problem, but there will be a bit of a problem in the first half. But thank you, and I hope you enjoy this next part. Oh, I'm helping Liam make ice. Oh my gosh, that's huge though. I can't believe she did that. Like, brought everyone into one room and publicly announced this thing that she never ever wanted to say. That's pretty cool. Hello, anything new for me, buddy? Our arc back at the Nexus. Yeah! I'd almost given up hope. The cat won't touch the Barchero again. The militia will see to that. Liftfinder Reka is a blow. So many Salarians joined the initiative because of her. Really? But you did your best. Did you need me? What do you think of the rest of the crew? I think that PB needs to read a few safety manuals. <laughs> what do you think of the crew? I don't talk to Cora much. She always seems so busy. There are things I'd like to ask her about your father, but it never seems like a good time. Hmm. Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. A power ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um... <laughs> added oh, we already asked that one. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Like, even Callow has a fun time, you know what I mean? Like, he's not, like, all, like... He's only a bit uptight since it's all gone down, you know? Wow. That looks really cool. I need a break. Do you need a... Let's go for a break. Okay! <laughs> Here for some tea, Ryder. I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth Team. I keep having wow, these you. thoughts. I'm never gonna taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. You're not the only one, Suvi. Anseless thoughts all the damn time. And? Do they bother you? It's natural. You'd have to be made of not to miss home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads. It distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there, but I was too awed by the abstract to appreciate them. Aww. It's just, you know, one of those everyday things. Like, you appreciate them, but you don't even know you're doing it. From everything you've told me, because of your family, your love of science, doesn't that come from them? Aren't you with them every time you chase down a new discovery? Ryder, that's beautiful. My mother made the implant in my head, and my father created the AI that you... I haven't lost them either. Thank you, Ryder. I don't know what it is, but even since the graphical update, maybe it's because this computer isn't very good. But Suvi always looks like an old lady to me. Like, very wrinkly, and like, her foundation is on really thick, like... And her makeup's a weird color. I don't know. It might just be my computer. Okay. Should be good. Well, geez. That was quite a bit of time. I wonder, since we did do a main mission, I wonder if we go to Kadara, if things with Reyes will be different. I doubt it. Probably would have shown up on my computer. I also wonder if my brother, if there's anything... Anything for my brother I could do? What? Could I land on it? Oh no, that's just the system. I see. 
let's go just for kicks. I'll go check out Kadara real quick. I mean, I haven't <laughs> freaking talked to Reyes in like 10 years. It's taken me like 11 years to play this game. That was good though, I need it. Maybe maybe if I play through with Scott, I'll have to just really focus on like main mission stuff and literally leave all this other stuff for later, like if I wanna do it. It feels like the kind of game where you could, you could basically go from the start and just run straight to the end. No orbiting Kadara. Some of the battles would be hard, but. Just wondering if we'll ever get, ever get another Mass Effect. If we'll ever get another Mass Effect. Or if it'll be like 10 years or something. And they think it'll be fresh and new or something. To the slums! Yeah, that's fine. I'm sure there's all kinds of secrets to discover in this game. Little, little, little dialogue tidbits, visiting, revisiting places. Invisible wall. Biotic mint, so cool. I love how everything looks. It's really, really cool. Whoever designed the environment and the tech and all that, they did a bang up job. I was hoping you'd stop by. Better get going. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome. Jeez, it's been 10 years. All right. Wow, the romances in this game are just really lacking. Like, they're like, oh yeah, romances are great, and then it's like, n absolutely nothing happens. And like, from what I can tell with the other romances, from what I've heard, like, the dialogue doesn't really change. Like, they'll talk to you the same way as if you're a friend or romanced, and it's like, okay. Alright, then. Well, okay, let's, let's just check. Um... So we could do, right, we need to talk to the to everybody, but I think we should probably finish up with the Padromos. Oh, okay. Um, still needed to do Vold, really? Ugh. Maybe we'll do Jaws. Jaws would be kind of fun. I don't know if it'll be a super long time, so this might be a long episode, but then again, I've had a couple interruptions, so I don't know actually what we're doing and how we're doing on time. And to the Tempest. I really did like the idea of a land based romance. And I still like the idea of it, but it's just not being handled as well as I would like. But then again, I am taking forever to play the game, so it might be a bit on me. The illness might be a bit on me. Into the sunset. Dun da 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 da. Alright, I, uh, Let's see who's looking for oh, we can get Kadara. the... You have new email at oh. your terminal, Pathfinder. Oh. oh. Already? Are you sure? Oh. What? Really? Oops. I did not go down to a planet and then back up here intentionally. Kada- uh, Are you serious? 
from Vegger Rider. Don't worry, Sid didn't do something reckless this time, as far as I know. I just found something cool on Kadara. Want to meet me there? I'll send the nap point as an attachment. We just, we lived. Did it do that because I went to Kadara, or was it gonna happen if I went down to a planet? Wait, 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 wait. Dang it, he said Suvi was looking for me. Let's see. If, uh. He said Suvi, right? Feeling alright. Oh. You were clinically dead for a few seconds. I didn't even know a Sam could do that. I didn't either. Imagine how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet. Death is the only exit, not the most reassuring <clears throat> words to hear. Anyway, thank you, Sam, for saving Ryder's life. You're welcome, Dr. Admiral. I should get back to things. Okay, Sounds well, thank good. you. I'm glad, I'm actually, I didn't even think about it, but I'm glad people recognize the fact that, like, I died, you know, and are like, are you okay? <laughs> so I like that. I may have given Liam a little bit of lip there, but, like, I like that they recognize it. Why does it do that sometimes? It, like, drifts. Well, we're not doing Jaws today. We're doing Suvi. And I see both of Evetra. Evetra. I have to say, I think Kadara does have one of my favorite color schemes. I love Marl's bi bioluminescent, but I really love the soft sunset -y colors that are here. And we're going... Oh, wait. Let's, I guess, track it. A moment, planet side. Where do we go? Oh, still down. To Silver Springs. Oh, that's like... That's where our, um... Outpost is at, right? Oh! Uh, Fetra! We'll bring... Yeah, we'll bring Drac, too. I just like Drac. He's probably, hands down, my favorite character. Like, I like them all. And they all have different quirks that I really like. But Drac is probably all around my favorite. My favorite. It's amazing what they were able to build even down in the slums. I mean, it's definitely grimier, but it's a nice, it's a nice setup. Give me my ship. Oh yeah, we changed the color to the snow one. All right, how far away is it? Nani nam. Oh yeah, that's right. We could just fast travel straight to it. I don't even need the nomad. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Just had to get on the correct map. Oh no, Sulphur Springs isn't where I have the thing. What the heck? Here we are. You ready? You were right. The view is great from here. It was up here. a tiny rock. We're not even to the top <laughs> yet. Come on, I'll race you. A race? Up this cliff? Less talk, more climb. Let's go, Pathfinder. <laughs> no jump Please. Down. No one likes a cheat. <laughs> this isn't fair. You're taller. You have reach. Staying within your limits is no fun, Ryder. Hee <laughs> hee, reach! And I have flexibility? No jump jets. I have biotics. Oh, Ryder. No one likes a cheat. Your dad would, your dad, your dad trained you to do this sort of a thing, I guarantee it. Uh. 
<laughs> in a suit of armor and everything. You're gonna be fine. Having fun. <laughs> See? Not fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. It's all going to be like this, huh? No. Better. For 14 months, I wondered if I'd made a mistake coming here and dragging my sister with me. I like this. I don't wonder anymore. Boarding the Tempest that day was the best decision I ever made. Hmm. <laughs> It's been a wild ride, huh? Wouldn't exchange it for any other. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that might be silly. Wow. Oh my gosh. I just got the Mass Effect feel. The Mass Effect 3 feels so bad. Oh my gosh. Like, for a second there, I was like, man, this feels like that when you're with Garrus in Mass Effect 3 and he takes you up on top of, like, the Presidium and you have a shooting contest, you know, and it felt like that, but then as soon as she said Wild Ride and wouldn't have it any other way, it's like, that's exactly what Joker says at the end of the Citadel DLC. If you don't know, like, you don't know why, I'm in tears. <laughs> it's because that's literally the most iconic moment for me in the entire franchise. And it meant so much to me that, like, I use it. I use it and I think about it on a frequent basis as, like, a symbol of, like, man, it's been crazy. Like, I'm so glad we've done what we've done, you know? Like, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade it for the world, you know? I wouldn't have it any other way, like. But man, jeez. Oh, that hit me really hard. That hit me really hard. Now I'm gonna have like a headache. <laughs> hit me so hard, I'm gonna have a headache. Jeez Louise. That was, but she, I think that's really hilarious though, because like, it, it's literally a rock that I jumped to the top of with one jump jet. But <laughs> I get the idea. We probably met here and like climbed up there or something. But, jeez, man, man, Bioware, unfair, unfair. Like it was different enough, but like there was just a hint of some enough of a similarity. Completely different situations though. At the end of the Mass Effect Three Citadel DLC, like you're you're kind of pretty sure that you're not, like, you're hopeful, but you don't know if you're going to make it, you know? Like, you're going to fight the good fight until you can't fight anymore. But here, they're, like, actually feeling like we have hope. Like, we're starting a new life, you know? We're not, we're not trying to salvage what we can and go into one last fight. Like, we're building as we go, and we're looking forward to an amazing future. Like, and I really like that a lot. Jeez! Oh my god. It's been a wild ride. Well, I think <laughs> sorry, um, I think I will Rider. Lexi Holy cow. Oh, Lexi wanted to speak to me. Okay, well, hmm, I was gonna call it here, but they have the you same, have they both well, end an I, the and they, and they, uh, have four letters in their name, so, unless Subi actually did want to talk to me, which is entirely possible, but she did, obviously. How's Drac doing? About Sam. Dr. Tapero does not approve oh. of how well, we well. the cat containment field on the Archon's flag. Oh. By stopping the Pathfinder's yeah. heart? No, I do not approve. 
We didn't have a choice. If there had been another option, I would have taken it. How can you be so calm about this? Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. Sam would never hurt me. Thank you, Ryder. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. I mean... Yeah. I mean, yeah, the fact that the AI can't... I mean, that, that's actually a good point. I hadn't even thought about that. That the AI, that the AI implant in my head can kill me. I mean, it makes sense. It's completely wired to every part of me, you know. But, um... That's a big concern for all the species that came from the Milky Way is, like, the AI killing you, you know? It's, like, deeply encoded into, like, the psyche of the Milky Way Your people. Your concern is noted, Doctor. Of course it has. Lexi, I apologize for any distress I have caused you. <sighs> and I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that, even if you don't have cells to prove it. Uh, I didn't- that came off as, like, really brusque. I didn't mean to. I just know that our relationship is apparently pretty professional. Yes. I don't know. I'll mm, let you get okay. back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Let's see. Lexi. Lexi is concerned about the scent of Sam's control over your body. While she trusts both you and Sam, the fact remains that a the AI can stop your heart on command. Oh, PB. PB has wholeheartedly embraced her place on the Tempest in your team. She's become a trusted remnant, or a trusted, re I was looking up at the other line. She's become a trusted teammate, an inseparable friend who would rather explore the galaxy's mysteries with you by her side. Vetra! Mm -hmm. She showed you a quiet spot on a cliff overlooking Kadara Port and expressed her pride at being part of your team and hopefully a friend. I am going to cry. Um, it's clear Suvi misses her family and occasionally experiences deep regret at having left them to pursue adventure. Taking, talking it out seems to help, and she finds your chats uplifting. Good. I like Suvi. Yeah, okay. Alright, I think... Um... I think... Oh, let's check this really quick. Yep. I think we'll call it there. There was a lot of chatting, which we haven't been able to do in a long time. Lots of cutscenes with our friends and whatnot. Um, so I appreciate you guys for watching and sticking with this one, with this game with me. I, I do, I do really appreciate it more than I can probably say or probably should because I'm all sappy. But I do appreciate it a lot. And once again, thank you, and I will see you in the next one.